Dad, can I get a so, truck, you know, sir? So, you know, I'm not normally very political, but I would very much consider buying one of those cardboard cutouts to put in the shop or to uh, put in the cab of the race truck. For the way there, if the race truck has windows, I would definitely buy the cardboard cutout and set him inside the truck to ride the whole way. Um, so we are on our way to see Cody Fisher in Delaware, Ohio. I think that's where his fab shop is. We walk the roof truck off. We'll give you guys an update when we get there, but we're gonna get on the road. Two hours later. Now, there's a lot of things I dislike in life, but this isn't one of them, guys. This is really good for your diesel truck. I hope you really enjoy it. It's saving the environment. Um, but the gas companies, the gas stations, don't think of where you're gonna put this out here. You usually set it on the ground, and then a baby pelican gets stuck inside of it. Cut. Cash report. Uh, we are somewhere in Ohio. Uh, that's all I know. It's Ohio. I don't. I didn't think that people lived here, but so far I've seen about four people and a lot of cars. So uh, I guess people do live here. We're about 20 minutes from Cody Fisher's house. So we're gonna get this little rowdy old race rig to the to the old place of resting for. Probably the next about six weeks, you won't see the blue truck guys. We're saying goodbye to the blue truck for a little while. But uh, we've got some cool things happening. So hopefully Cody is not asleep on the couch. Uh, if he is, I guess we'll wake him up. Um, he does carry though, so uh, we're gonna knock. To be Cody Fisher, you need to pull into Cody Fisher's driveway without him noticing. Unload your truck. Hopefully he thinks it's his and he finishes it at a reasonable price, free. And uh, then you go home. That's not, that's not gonna be the case. Love you, Cody. Like my electric doors. This is new. State of the art technology. Yeah. Wow. Like how nice and quiet it is? You don't even hear it. Oh, that hurts. You see, I pay the Amish to come uh, grease mine. You need to shut up. Um, we do got a lot around here. All right, guys, we're in Ohio. I don't know where, I don't know how, I don't really want to come back, but I got to get this truck again. Am I good to unstrap this? Yeah, you're good. good. I don't know. It's got the winch on. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, uh, uh, this race truck stuff ain't cheap, guys. So uh, subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the merch store. We got two new designs released, um, and we still have some event shirts left over. I think we got, uh, I want to say small, medium, and 2X. On the road again. What a... Do you have you much? Think they uh, like me singing that in the YouTube video. <laughs> What'd you, you say, uh, Cody? Do you have many more? Uh, uh, do you have any more events coming up this year? Or are you pretty much done? Uh, we're cooked for this year. We're done. We're I done. thought you well, no SEMA. Oh, events for like me personally. Yeah. Uh, maybe SEMA. Haven't decided yet. Um, it's kind of a big waste of money. Man, it seems like SEMA's just got worse and worse every year. I'm, uh, well, I mean, like, I'm spending a lot of money, obviously, to have this truck ready for BRI. Yeah. Which will sure. be the reveal of this truck, guys, just if you're wondering. Not completely done, but yeah. a lot more than what it is. It'll be a... 50%. Yeah, like, I mean, it'll be it'll be 60, 70%. Uh, oh, he's the last, himself. <laughs> <laughs> the last the last 10% of every project takes 90% of the time. No, uh, no lines. No fans or butts. No wiring. Yeah, we'll have any wiring. We'll have like electronics in it and, you know, turbo stuff done. We'll have a bunch of like the coolers and all that stuff mounted. A lot of like the creature comforts, stuff that really just takes time because, you know, when you spend money on trucks like this, like, man, it really, uh, it yes. really sucks when you get in it and nothing fits you or it's, yeah, like you want to have something that's easy to work on and that's not just it. So. so the benefit of starting from scratch is every single decision yeah. that was made was yours. Exactly. So you can only yeah. be mad at yourself. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's <laughs> not a, you know. So, like, my turbo setup, everything, like, if it doesn't work, I can be mad at myself. <laughs> yep. But I'm not is, worried about the turbo we'll setup. To, we'll tell them about that here. Yeah. Now. We'll show them some pictures of them. It obviously has no brakes, correct? Do what? No brakes. No brakes. Yeah. That's fine. No brakes. Can you, uh, can you step on the cable to keep it off the bumper? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. We need steers and stuff. Let me grab a block real quick. Eat this guy down the road. Right. 
Running start. All Ready? Right. Yep. A little more. Oh. Right there. Should be good. You got a hold of it real quick? Yeah. Don't worry, Ryan. We got this. All right. Yeah, sometimes I do love yeah. We'll get straight now. Woo. It's a workout. I know one All thing. All right, Ryan. You're in front of the camera now. Give me the camera. <laughs> okay. Pop, the Pop the hood. Glad you went with the good wheel, though. The good steering wheel, though. The motions are the freaking... You're uh, what you want. You're gonna be happy about this too. Right. Oh, it does look like I hit with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Hell yeah. Whoa! He's got one of those big shiny things with a lot of tubes and curly coils coming out of it. Hold on, we're gonna have to take a smoke break. Whew. Dude, that'll freaking wear you out. I ain't worked that it'd hard. Be cr it'd be crazy if I had a forklift or something to move it around, you I'm know? about to say, if I look around and I see a forklift. <laughs> there ain't not. I can guarantee you there ain't no forklift. I know, but the way you said that, I was like, I, no, I, don't hey, let me look no, there ain't a no, forklift right there now. Ain't, there is no f***ing chance of Whew. me not using a forklift if we had one. I'm going to grab I, my energy drink and catch my breath. Whew. <sighs> Hold on, before we do a big talking segment. This fat boy's still out of breath. Actually, we've got to move this. We're sponsored by Coltrane. I don't drink that. I found that on the ground. Where is... Yeah. Let me go get you a box. I got a box for you. A box? It's a mystery box, but it's not a mystery. He's probably sending me a bill for something. <laughs> on the road again. Gather around, kids. Gather around. Oh, Ready nice. to finally show the class what we have here. Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. So these are uh, Lightning 375s. In the nitrous world, this is the big dog. This this is her. These are the big guys. And we have three. And now I've just been informed um, through email that I need to order another. By email, I mean Cody just told me I didn't order enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think this is our perch kit. Kind of just picked one off the website and went with it. Okay, yeah. No, yeah, it's a little perch mm -hmm. solenoid. Mm -hmm. So, all and then do stuff. you need one more of these for a spool solenoid? Yeah. Okay, well, actually, so, it's a 15 300L, but um, yes, very close. I will. And uh, if that's not right, I can yeah. use that no, on this, something else. No, we'll use this for th this is perfect for a purge. So, like, yeah. you have, I don't have a 15 300 here, but there's, like, this is an older 15 300. Is it um, just a smaller knife? A little solenoid? bit smaller. Yeah. It just doesn't, the biggest thing with the 375s is the orifice. So, like, if you look, if you look through the the nice little glory hole there, and then you look through this little guy, see how small he is? So it's really just all orifice size Definitely based. Definitely looks average. Yeah. yeah, like look at, I mean, small. that's the, well, that's the flow through of it, but. It's the guy they tell you not to worry about. That is a fact. That is 100% a fact. But I thought the other one looked pretty average. Yeah. It, and small is probably not the word I would've used. Yeah, it'll anything. actually yeah. get, uh, man, I have a tripler <laughs> over here, I think. Nitro stuff, it'll end up, they'll end, actually end up going into one of these so it's not oh full. so that's the block he was telling me about? yeah so it's not i'm that's literally what i'm working on for maddie's car right now but it's uh pretty much you have to dissect the solenoid but then all three of these end up getting stacked so you have three in a stack and then mm -hmm. the little guys sit because these are sought so oh and then you just these guys big feed these guys will end up being down here and then it's dual fed Dude, that's one so on clean, each side though. yeah that's the point so, i guess yeah uh, should we address Maddie's while we're here? Yeah, we can. Gotta get, gotta give a plug to the fastest woman on diesel fuel. Yeah, she still got that her. title, huh? She still got that title? Yeah, yeah. Fa right, fastest, right. fastest girl for sure. Fastest uh, woman on diesel fuel. Yeah, she was yeah. the fastest on diesel fuel for a little while, wasn't she? Yeah, for a little. And Michael bit. had to just ruin her dreams. Yeah, we've. How dare, I, we, how dare we, you, we, Michael? We've ru we dare ruined you. a couple people's dreams with that one. Oh gosh, but. It's uh, hey, we're uh, just we're just trying to make that, it hard for people one, to catch up. That one rail's creeping up though. Yeah, Vasco's is creeping up. He, he yeah. won an 80 uh 89 at uh this past weekend. It's fairly new though, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. They've had they've had some problems and stuff with it, but just like anything, we always I mean, it's, it's racing, they're all man. freaking he blew like yeah, I mean, it's nothing. everything breaks. Nothing's perfect. So, no. we've got a rail. I know nothing about the chassis, but Rail's yeah. a rail. Obviously, they converted it to have a Duramax. What platform engine is this? Yeah, it's a Duramax Waggler, uh, Waggler deal. It's got billet cylinder heads on it. It's a cast block still. What um, uh, what generation or is it just? Man, I want to say this is uh, LLY. 
Okay. That's for LLY or LBZ. And again, I am no Duramax guy, but you know. Uh, you're you just know a sign of making it pretty yeah. and putting, yeah. uh, I think I heard intercooler. Yep, this guy. So oh, okay. they were having some problems with uh, intake air temps. Yeah, intake air temps and whatnot. So we're gonna end up making some nice like, little snakes from here down through the side of the mm -hmm. body and stuff. Uh, made uh, some made some nice custom bull horns for it I or mean, whatnot. It's pretty slick considering yeah. I didn't even notice the intercooler was right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, it's tight. It's we're trying to figure out a lot of uh, you know. Fortunately, we can run like depending on platform, like we can get away with no with running no intercooler, mm -hmm. but. To an extent, we get to it like even with Michaels is a prime example. Like we're just getting to a point like man, we're just make like it's it's hot. Like we need to cool it cool mm -hmm. it down. Because you just keep adding fuel and nitrous. Yeah, and, and um, so this we're trying to see how compact of a unit we can get away with while still not like sacrificing. Mm -hmm. You know, if any. Are you guys uh, worried about these exploding? No, no. I yeah. mean, it, you're. Your generic off the shelf intercoolers. Yeah, you know, if you this have one, a cast this one looks very or whatnot. Expensive. Yeah, I mean, I, I made this one here, so okay, like I did really all this here. Really expensive, then. We, so it's I, I don't want that. Yeah. Any, um, now yours is more. Your, yours is more expensive than this. Well, what the heck? <laughs> I know I shouldn't have paid that invoice when you sent it. <laughs> so, oh man, it's a, car. That's next project yeah. for us. That's the beauty here. itself. Show them that. We're getting ready to. We'll take the freaking. I don't know why I got my my stuff up here. She's a beaut. Hey, look, there's Greg in the back. Oh, look yeah. at him back in there. Yeah, they're, uh, they're about to see something else that's blue with Greg behind it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Cut that. Oh, uh, Greg. No. He's, he's, he's going to love He's going to be like, he's going to be like, he's going to be like, eh, he's going to uh -uh. be like, I'm going to get a text message, text message to say, we need to talk. Like, Actually, oh. I'm going to text him when we open up the drag strip and I'll be like, Grad race, me and you. And then I'm going to make my tree go off first. <laughs> and then I'm going to leave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you do. When, 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 you when you own the track, you can do What's he going to do? Argue with the move that with the manager? I don't know what to tell you, bro. Take it up with management. That's exactly. me. <laughs> Take it up with me. Or, That's good. or I, I make him red light. I know it. And then I can just say we I drove him because he red lit. Ooh, you know, just just all all the all the puff. we're gonna save this trash talk for when the truck actually we got a, runs. We got a lot of we got a lot of work to do before we, we have another one hundred and twenty thousand dollars to spend before this thing <laughs> yeah. even cranks over. So let's uh, let's not talk about that actually. Um, I'm trying not to think about that, but to make the truck at the level that we want to. Uh, let's start on the interior. Let's save the engine stuff for last. We have uh, we have literally nothing. So I think the plan before PRI is to get the MoTeC screens mounted. Yep, pretty much when it leaves uh, leaves here, it'll have your screen mounted, your ECU, your uh, power distribution modules and all that stuff. That'll all be mounted and then all your sensors will be mounted. So pretty much when it goes to SNS, what they do from there is, is Andre, uh, and Gabe, they end up going through and they'll lay out the entire harness. So pretty much they get all their lengths, cut everything, you know, uh, do all the pinouts, do all that, and then they put it in at once. It's a sealed Raychem harness. Like it's a, mm -hmm. you know, about as, it, it's as top it's of a, the line. Yeah, it's the a top of the line. The proper way to do it. Correct. Is There's a lot of ways to wire vehicles. Mm -hmm. The way that this will be done uh, with a Raychem harness that is pinned out, it has, you know, you're going to have all your sheets for every single pin in that entire harness. So if there is a problem, you can go back, you can diagnose it and Find fix it. And you make it modular to where if you want to add stuff, take stuff away, you know, whatever the case Extra is. Extra pins and the plugs. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Just you break out the harness. It's like, hey, I want to, I might add four interior lights. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll break them out here. And we're definitely and then, doing that interior lights. Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely do a couple of interiors. We're doing rock lights. We're, we're going to, I mean, it's still going to be a little bit of a show truck, but she yeah. is definitely going to be more speed oriented, but it's still going to be pretty much full weight. I mean, we're not going to have a dash, but I, I yep. still don't think that anyone can argue that this truck is full weight. Got the seats done, got the cage done, yep. um, got the rear four link done, have the hitch done. So you're going to do all electronics. We're talking about maybe building like a panel in the center with some lights. Yep. Um, kind of to put all of your computers and your wiring yep. um, into like a like a panel, and then maybe putting like an uh, access panel on it yep. with an acrylic cover and some lights and stuff in there. You'll kind of be able to see it if you lean in from the side of the truck, but it'll be mostly For me sure. that sees it. Yeah. Um, and probably the acrylic just to see. I'm sure there's some indicator lights on all, a lot of the electronics to make sure yep. that they're on and working. Exactly. So that's something that I could also be able to look at. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah. And buttons. Yeah. Buttons. We'll have. We'll do. We'll do the steering wheel out. They'll actually. So there will be. There'll be a dash. You know. There'll be a panel over top of this, mm -hmm. and then there'll be a panel. Carbon or um, what do you think? Man, we can do this. This can be carbon. This front yeah. piece will have to be aluminum simply because of we're probably going to do something. 
I don't know. That's what we were going to talk about. But as far as shifter hey. stuff and all that, like if hey, do if you're going to do drag and drive stuff, it's kind of nice to have like a cup holder and like a place to like rest your arm and whatnot. Not a you know. So if we're going to tie those together to where we have you know that's just we have a lot of options and yeah. stuff too. So that's uh, that's some of the stuff we wanted to talk definitely about. Definitely want to option the but, cup holders. I mean, I know that yep. could be an extra probably a 200 grand, but I'm willing <laughs> no, to spend nothing it. Nothing that bad. I mean, so the plan is if when we do a drag and drive, Bubba will go with me. Yeah. So it'll be Bubba or Joey or one of the guys will be with me, probably Bubba, and then I'll have them two being camera yep, crew behind sure. us. But the only bad part about Dragon Drives is obviously you and your co co driver are the only ones that can work on it. So it'll probably be me yep. and Bubba in the truck, him following us as our camera crew. Yeah. And then that's why I also bought the Corbo wide seats so that we would be comfy. Exactly. Um, we plan on driving this truck through Dragon Drives. Yep. So that's a that's another thing with the power level and what I want to do with the engine. Yeah. Is uh you know drivability. Mm -hmm. but still the ability to make power yeah. so it's like we have to find that fine line yep. i mean we have a pulling hitch we have a rear four link we, we can have, do about whatever you want we have parachutes roll cages i mean we're gonna have yeah. a better turbo setup than originally we thought so yep. we need to go over that here in a second but Uni universal trucks one if you want one truck to do 10 different things mm -hmm. it's always going to be 10 times harder to get that to fruition than building a dedicated race car. Well, let's show what's going on in the bed. We were gonna do a fuel cell under the truck in the factory location um, and have it come out the fuel neck here. Not only was it gonna be really expensive, it was gonna be also very time consuming, but that wasn't really our worry. Um, my worry and my thought behind it is if we have any type of driveline issues, a drive shaft or something that hits the fuel cell. Yeah. So that's always a worry, obviously, if you're pulling it, you know, whether this truck ends up competing in Yep. UCC, King of the Streets, whatever or whatever event, because yep. I think I would like to eventually start an event that had like a had all around yeah. thing. You For know, sure. obviously would love to eventually compete in UCC because that's an event we're part of, and I love that event. Yeah, it's my favorite event of the Same. year. It's been a big it, UCC's been a big part of my life for sure. Yeah. Like I mean, you've been building UCC trucks for years now. Somebody's baby girl is calling. Yeah, that is baby girl. That's, that is, is the Michael is. Cordova calling right now. Oh, that's that's the ninja himself. <laughs> okay, he's yeah. calling to make sure you got yeah. that car. Oh, done. he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna, he gonna be mad when I don't answer. But hey, you know what? It'll uh, be all right. I have good eyes. Send him um, a picture of this and say, hold on, I was making money. <laughs> we're gonna put radiator back here. Uh, so we're gonna have a pretty hefty radiator setup yeah. for sure. Radiator um, with a pump to get all the. Yep. Yeah. Will the, the pump, pump be on the radiator, or will it be in the center somewhere? No. So the pump will be in the center. Um, there might be uh, there might be two pumps, two smaller yeah. pumps rather than one large. I've done them back here with one, and they've been fine. But the drag and drive stuff just made me second guess it a little bit. So. Yeah, so I mean, we that. probably should do some research and look up like the average range between drag strips and a drag and drive. Yeah, I like mean, whether it, it's like 150 miles, 200 miles, it varies a lot between the drag and drives. That's yeah. the big thing. Like if you go sick week, I mean, you got some distance. But then oh. if you go, uh, oh, we ain't even we ain't even told him yet. What Rocky Mountain Race weekend? Sick, sick week next week or uh, or next year. Sick week. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. our uh, track is on the list really that's really cool that's awesome yeah that's a really sneak, cool sneak event. peek for y'all stay tuned for the that'd track. be really really cool yeah well i mean to have it at the track and then to get our drag and drive truck done yep plus it's a awesome. it's gonna be an eighth of mile circuit yep so i'll be able to run the whole thing yep. in this awesome so i'll also participate yeah, let's, stick, let's stick to eighth mile racing eighth i don't want to do quarter it's quarter is too long too much too much power. I will definitely mess a lot of stuff yeah. up to trying to it's do just quarter. Quarter. That's why nobody. That's why not a lot of really that many people will quarter mile race anymore. I, I mean, there's still some. Don't get me wrong by any means, but man, eighth mile racing is just. It's where it's at. It's easier on vehicles. Well, I can't build a quarter mile when you when I, have an eighth mile track. When I'm opening an eighth mile facility, like <laughs> you just can't do that. But so we got radiator fuel cell. Fuel cell um, in the back though, for sure. Then again, okay, because that's what I thought. That's what we had decided on. But I, I think in the very back here. Wouldn't you say, or would you, you want the weight towards the front? Yeah. Um, if I was looking at it right now, I was almost going to say, man, we could take to the left side of the, uh, the left side of the, uh, the down bar for the cage. Yeah. Man, we could build one all the way. We could build one long ways this way. So tuck so it in come here. Over here, Ryan, that way you can show. Yeah. So you're saying tuck it in between the cage and this right here. Yep. Like and we then come. even leave enough room for if we have to remove the bed, the tank can stay in the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, for sure. Yeah. This. Uh, pretty much it would come, it, you know, depending, we'd, I'd have to do the math to see how much 20 gallons is or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, but it'll end up kind of being something like this all the way across. And then we can either angle the, angle the top of it or do whatever. We'll put a little sump in it. So it actually, are you worried about, pull. what about weight on one side? Cause that's quite a bit of well, weight. Well, um, which I mean, even driver wise, yes. But then if, 
doing that, there's enough other stuff. You have two big turbos over on this side. You have, if we're putting nitrous bottles over they there. Did, they didn't know about the second one. We'll get to that in a minute. It's a cliffhanger. What about the second. what about the radiator being mounted in that area over there? What do you mean? Like, so the fuel tank is running along oh, this side. Oh, and then what put the, the radiator, radiator up in there. on that side? Yeah. That way you had a I've, fill here and a fill at the front corners. Yep, I actually And then the, the center of the bed's empty. Because then, too, I've also seen some guys, like, in that big white patch, like right in here. Yeah. Uh, put a louver in there so it draws, it can draw air in. Yeah. That way, We're going to have to do something for yeah. air because, like, and once I think we that do would the be carbon our, bed cover and stuff, this, like, bed is going to be dead, dead I air. think that'll be our ticket. We could even put, I mean, man, you can inlay a louver in the ins on the outside, like, you know, into here uh, or something. Like Adams. Yep. It'd be pretty much exactly like that. It'll basically um, just have a louver built into here and we, then this Well, you pocket. can buy the carbon louvers, can't you? Yep. So we could yep. cut the hole in a bed, put a carbon louver in it, and have yeah. vents going directly to the radiator. Yep. We'll okay. have to see, it, which, and it won't be too bad because the front, it'll be, you know, the front is still intact, but like, you know, we don't want it grabbing. Uh, Pushing me. Oh, that, well, yeah. that for one, and then two, like, grabbing and lifting up the carbon cover on the inside because uh, it's grabbing air. Creating wind so, in there, and then it has nowhere yep, to go. It's basically just a so. tunnel. Yeah, so we'll have to see exactly where some of that stuff lays out, but I think that's a very good, I, I, if anything, we'll lay them backwards. So instead of having the the hole opened up to where it comes in this way, almost do it backwards, so it's mm -hmm. still, it will still pull air so through it'll, that. It'll, it'll vent instead yep. of, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah well, one in, one we're, out. We're uh, we're far from that, but we're gonna do a I think a carbon bed cover. Yep. Um, is that happening before or after? That's that. As Time. far as right now, that is my thing that I want to have done for it. But that's kind of my last. It's on that the last. Yeah. That area up there is my main goal for the PRI. All right. Well, is your is our engine? Let's bed, get so. to the engine before we make this video three hours long. Man, we can make it five. He's got a mystery mouse control for us. Hold on, he's got some like some boys up there on the screen or something. Boys, yeah. doing. <laughs> Actually, they're what? Yeah, what was, hey, fuck well, it's an old man. I mean, he's in yeah, yeah. You, you know, whatever you're into. I, 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 I backpedaled on that one pretty hard. I was like, ah. All right, so as of right now, this is the size of our second turbo. This is big boy. This is the new, gen like this is their cream of the crop. Like this is what is on, if you go back here real quick. That's on that, that is car. what's right there. Um, oh, so just I, a little so bit have smaller. A billet frame. Center section too. Yeah, have billet center section, and then see the uh, see all the cross. So it's got the exhaust housing actually has cross bolts built into it. Ooh. So it's right at the back of the turbine. So you so know you don't, you don't have to put cross bolts in. It. Yeah, exactly. You can see kind yeah. of what that does. So uh, when I billet center one, it doesn't hurt somebody. As of right now, we're gonna go 114 mil, and then a uh, most likely gonna be a 113 turbine, um, and that'll be a 140 exhaust housing. So. I mean, this turbo will make by itself. I mean, you know, it'll it'll do it'll support well over three thousand by itself. But and then our manifold charger is that a, is that eighty eight millimeter yeah. stainless diesel GT fifty five with a billet supercore. Yep. Um. Also a bad unit. Yep. For capable sure. of two thousand by itself. Hundred percent. These so are the the eighty eight divided one thirty six. Uh, this turbo in particular, like man, they're hard. They are hard to break. They're and tough. They're, yeah, they're freaking. They're tanks. Well, that's why I put one of these on here originally. It was originally yeah. supposed to be one of these dual gates. Yep. A lot of nitrous. This thing can, is what I figured the air capability was about twenty two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this uh, with with a bunch of kits. Like, with a, it'll with do, a bunch of kits. It'll do. Yeah. I mean, no, it'll do more. It'll do more than that. On uh, starting to push it though. Yeah. A hundred percent. And it's single turbo stuff. I mean, for for the dyno stuff, from what I've found, uh, the. Com the big compounds, man, they're really, it's the, it's kind of a ticket. Like that big, having a big uh, air breather out mm -hmm. here is, you know, right. it, it's been, it works extremely well. They hit hard. This is um, our bottom charger. But they don't hit near as hard as triples. That's why I don't tell, I tell everybody. I, I have no triples. interest in triples. I've never really seen anything to do with triples that I thought was impressive yeah. or not they're just extreme, carnage. They're extremely torquey. Um, they're good setups. They spool lightning fast, but man, they are hard on some parts. Carnage. So. And that's why the compounds, they're, you know, they're still aggressive and they still hit hard, but they don't have that bottom end low torque that uh, triples make. I mean, triples are just extremely torquey units, and that's why they break the locks in half or they do whatever they want to do. So T6 comp stainless manifold. Yep. Um, you got to cut 
two holes in this very pretty yep. brand new manifold. Yep. Um, we're going to run dual 45 millimeter hyper gates. Yep. Most likely. Um, that's, five pound springs or. Yeah. It'll, yeah. so it, they'll, they'll be, uh, they'll have boost to the top of, or they'll have uh, pressure to the top of them. Yeah. So then they'll be controlled necessarily off of a Mac valve. So yeah, I mean, it'll have like a 35 ish pound spring in them, but yeah. they'll be the high pressure gates. So with the high pressure gate, we can, uh, you know, we can adjust that accordingly to what we need to for it what it's when making. We want it to. Yeah, and well, yeah. it'll all be the the gates will be controlled by the ECU. Sorry, that's my I got a oh, radio okay. on in here. Well, my phone dinged as soon as that happened, so um, it freaked me out. I was like, but, "Have I been here before?" But yeah, no, it'll. <laughs> um, so yeah, you have two gates. They'll be controlled through the ECU. Yeah, freaking wild. Um, probably have ghosts in here to be honest. Uh, no, we have a Brenda. Brenda, really? You we have a Brenda. Did you never met Brenda? No, I don't know if I want to meet Brenda. Chad I mean, comes out about 3 a.m. to work on trucks. Uh, I got a freaking, I got a pet chipmunk running around here pet somewhere. Pet chipmunk. Oh, we ain't Dude. got one of those. Man, I've had, I've had a pet goose here. I've had all kinds oh, of wow. shit. Wow, I petted a goose this weekend. Did you? That's kind of fucking weird. Wild goose. <laughs> Wild goose. He'll see this and he'll That's really good. enjoy that. That's, That's great. Good. So Dude. both of these turbos are capable of shaft speed sensors. So we're going to run them on both. Yep. Keep up with them. Make sure we're not pushing them past their limit. Or uh, I guess if we do have a turbine problem, we can see yeah. it. Or I mean, that helps it, us keep turbos in check to make sure they're happy. If one of those sensors sees a peak uh, shaft speed RPM that we want to stay under, it'll start trimming fuel in the engine, or it'll, you know, Motec, however we want. Motec's to going to babysit my right foot. Yep. Is yeah. I mean, and it just, at. you know, it ke it keeps the engine alive. So that's right. the sensors are pretty much just to monitor that, and then we'll run limiters off of them, and uh, yeah, just to monitor and make sure the turbos are happy. Uh, that's so. the whole point of spending X amount of dollars on a Motec system. Is it actually? It doesn't baby proof it, but like, no, but there's man. enough safeties to where if you have a problem that you don't know about, it will catch right. it before you will, and you you'll notice obviously. Yeah. It'll either tell you or it'll be derated. One, yep. and it, you know the the tunability of them and the abilities that you have. With you don't, you don't have to shut them off to tune them, do you? Um, it's you don't tune them like an EFI, but yes, I mean the car the car will yeah. be off. Well, like, it's you not can... like you have to turn it off and flash it. No. Can't you make modifications while it's still running? Yeah, like swap yeah. between files. Yep. Yeah, I, I mean, you, I'm going to call it files, maps. but yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Ma it'd be maps at that point, yeah. So, so the same system that's on the Viper. We'll give them a quick rundown on yeah, I don't want to give them too the, much. What the plan, we don't want to information overload them. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I do plan on possibly making a trip back up here in like four weeks, maybe towards yep. the end of November, checking yep. on it before we come back to get it, obviously, for PRI. Um, depending on how done she is, you know, we may be coming to get her on the way to PRI. Correct. That's what I literally had that. I got a list of stuff that I want so. to talk about. So that was one of them was, you mm -hmm. know, what we want and to do for that. It'll be but. in the DNJ booth, if anybody's wondering, to show off this yeah. beautiful Enforcer engine. Yeah. Um, so It's very clean. Uh, yeah, you know, FP Dust Fest was pretty cool. I heard. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to water the parking lots next time, guys. Don't worry. Um, Asphalt the entire thing? No, no. God, I think you got the, I think you got the pocketbooks for that, don't you? Uh, well, the problem you is, did. is... Uh, the taters will initiate burnouts at every oh corner of the property. You imagine, you imagine, you imagine having that all concrete or all asphalt? Oh, buddy, I would, Damn. I would have a conniption over how that many people be, started doing burnouts. Honestly, though, it almost it would be worth it because it would be very cool. Oh, it would be like be awesome. fifty acres of just burnouts. I know it'd be pretty cool. All right, Guinness Book of World Records holler at us. I guess, I guess we need to start so, front to back of the engine. Yeah, so, obviously trans yep. turbo four hundred. It'll be a Ross, Rossler uh, three speed lockup. Uh, Transmission, so that's a turbo 400, and it's a captive. I don't how technical. So we, we don't want to. We don't need technical. to get into. We're that. just going to give them a review. Just, yeah, we'll, we'll give we'll a, them. It's we'll a, an extremely the the way fluid moves inside the transmission is a lot more efficient and a lot better to apply power, hold power, and uh, do things with the transmission. So that is in so short term. Your, of your how 48 RE problem is deleted. Yes, so that's a perfect. Not example. that it won't break. I'm not saying that it won't. They break they, they can break. We also we did leave out a big part of the drive line as well which is the transfer case oh so dumped. yeah so it'll have a two well a two position drop box slash t case from scs in it so it'll be uh it'll have a selector in it basically off the front of it so you can put the truck in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive that way mm -hmm. it's not all-time four-wheel drive um and it'll be fully divorced so it'll be like a monster yeah. truck like you would, I mean, that's so, a so it doesn't actually it. bolt to the back of the trans. Yep. It'll have Correct. a, like a small little shaft. Between yep. It. It'll right. have a stub shaft in the middle of it. And then it'll be on two sliders basically. So you can, uh, unbolt it from this, unbolt the transfer case from the sliders, slide the T case back, pop the jack shaft out. And then the T case can stay there and you can drop a trans. We don't have to pull everything at mm. one time. 
That's where those okay. are some of those things that people don't like to look at. Bubba's going to love you. So, so transfer case, Turbo 400. We're going to try and run through this a little bit quicker because oh, I yeah, think this video is getting pretty long. Um, so Turbo yep. 400, billet transfer case. Billet uh, torque converter. Billet torque converter that's also, it can be disassembled and you can yep. change the stators. To bolt together, correct. Yeah, yep. you can change the stators in it. Um, so manifold charger, 88, yep. T6 comp, dual gates, boost controlled on the gates. Um, the MoTeC will control all of that. Yep. And then uh, we got a 114 you're gonna be building the compound kit for. Yep. Um, one thing I do wanna show them is kind of like we had talked about an idea of... <laughs> Some of this changes with the, the, it, the yeah, second it, air it, pump it, a little the, bit. The second turbo has changed a lot of our plans, but there's still one plan that I would love to exist. Let's, let's shut the hood and show them. So I had this crazy... Oh, I think it's still possible. I, I, I feel like it's oh, still right. a very doable thing. I know what you're about to say. So, I want the gate pipes to come out of here. I have a big enough we'll shot. back, kids. I guess at this point, exhaust-wise, I mean, what's our options? I mean, it probably just needs to go out the hood at that Man. point. Let me know what y'all think we should do with the exhaust. Should we put it out the hood? Should we put it out the fender? Should we put it somewhere cool? He's going to find something cool over there. I don't know what he's going to find. Very rough, but again, oh. like, man, you could come out to where this thing would you know lean up and out oh, obviously it would be this would none of this would be exposed but you're saying it would be up, up. the fender and out yeah like not but, i never not like not like this see right oh, here it would yeah. be towards the front so there's in between this crash bar right here there's a room there's opening right back in here so you come up uh fuel setup on the truck um sns uh big boy larry hoover injectors that you do not need to know the size of so don't worry about it pal um dual 14 mil pumps uh two new products that's all we're gonna say we'll run a yep. x or g billet rail yep probably get yep. it polished the billet rails look really good up on top yeah. they work good too what about Able intercooler adapt. where are we putting it so intercooler is going to be i in... think i think put it low it is and i'll leave this out so i won't put this in and we put it low in between the frame rails, and then it gets all this for air. Yep. But so, I am going to put a valence on it, and I do want to put fog lights in it. Yep. Um, actually, I have uh, a couple pictures of the two options that we do have. It's turning out pretty cool, uh, guys. I'm, I'm very excited for this. We're going to do a air-to-air -air rather than air-to-water. Yep. No, um, no air-to-water, guys. I do not want to fool with an ice box and all that bull crap. And Wait, that surfaces. I am going to end up needing an air-to-water, though, because Sally. No comment. Um, oh, yeah. For the burnout truck, 100%. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Sally's a farm truck. Wait, what? Isn't Sally the white one that gets the shit beat out of it all the time? God, isn't it? Hey, <laughs> that's her. Uh, Sorry, right. was a farm truck at one point. Here Poor we thing. At, here we at. Here we at. Here we Ooh. go. She wishes. So this. She wants to go back to the farm. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. So this is oh. one of them. You see, so, I saw that on my invoice and I was like, dang, that looks uh, pretty rowdy. How is it that much? I see you now. This isn't even optioned out yet. So we got another chunk. So we can do oh, it. Oh, it gets This more. is a little, <laughs> um, the tank will end up being something about like. Like that. Yep. But flipped upside down. So, so the inlets will be right above the frame and then this will hang down in the bumper area. It'll probably be closer to this. Oh. And then these tanks will actually be late. It's kind of hard to like uh, picture it in your head, but they'll be kind of angled out 45, like into the corners. So the charge oh. pipes can come, you know, the charge pipes can match the initial jog right out of them. Okay. So you don't have any hard angles for the air. Yeah. Number one victory royale. Yeah. Fortnite we about to get down. Intercooler will be there. Yeah, Radiator be will be in the bed. So the only thing we're really going to add to this equation up front is another turbo gates piping obviously which is going to yep. fill up that side really good yeah it'll oh. fill this side will look this side is going to stay empty yeah there'll be some we might put some nitrous i, I don't know for uh most nitrous will actually well, probably be mounted right in here so we want nitrous uh pre or post intercooler we'll have both there'll be some in the front of the turbo there'll be some uh pre intercooler post intercooler Probably some of the intake. Nitrous for everybody. Yeah. You, know, you just have to break it up a good bit, like, to where, you know, you I, want to... You obviously to... don't want all that in one spot. Yeah, When you go to exactly. dump in four solenoids. Yep. Just as smooth as we could get, it would yeah. be ideal for these dyno ops we want to do. I don't know if we're doing much dyno stuff yet, but we'll see. All right, so that pretty much wraps up the race truck build. Um, like I said, compounds. He's going to finish the intercooler. Uh, as much of the piping as he can. Actually, Turbo kit will be done. 
All, all fabrication stuff will mostly be done and then we'll have the mid plate in it. We're gonna need to go to school for a couple, like when you come to pick this up and we go run it or, you know, do all that for the first time, we're gonna have like three or four days of like, hey, Oh, I'm calling. I'm calling everybody I know. I want to be like, hey, <laughs> don't uh, do that. Don't do that. <laughs> everybody, hey, I need all uh, my favors. All the questions oh, you guys have asked man. me about wheels and tires, and if your leveling kit fits on your '95 Dakota, I need. A little I heard. Help. Isn't that what you specialize in? Is Toyota Dakotas. Tacomas? No, Dakotas. 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 Dodge Dakotas. Oh. Um, they're America's sweetheart. Ford Explorers too. It's Ford, probably what. Uh, Ford is Explorers. that? Yeah. Uh, we had a Ford Explorer meet at the shop last weekend. That's pretty crazy. That's. Wild. Um, but yeah. So intercooler pipes. Uh, we still got to address an, we still got to address an engine. All of oh yeah yeah. So stuff. we have to figure out what all is going to be run on the front accessory system. We need to talk about that too. Um, well, there's going to be I think that that's a dual pump cover it for is. them on the back side. So both pumps will be off the back and then off the front. Uh, most likely, we just well, we're gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to SNS a little bit, but there might be a fuel system piece that goes up here as well. But most likely, just the power steering pump will be off the front and a dampener, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and an alternator. alternator. But are we going to do a low mount alternator? Yeah. Okay. Most likely. Because yeah. we're not going to have AC, obviously. So yeah. uh, it'll literally be uh. alternator here, dampener here, power steering, and that's gear driven. So you don't have to do anything be, with that. It'd and be then clean. a tensioner. Yeah. The, the engine bay is really not going to have that much going on in it. Yeah. And then well. we're going to put a screw blower on it next for the people that know. Yeah, that's an awful idea. That's a great idea. All right, Gail. You want to look at you Calm down, Gail. <laughs> Dude, Calm down, Gail. Gail. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to wrap this video up, guys. We don't want to show you too much. You've got an idea of what's going to happen with the race truck or what you're going to see in the previous videos or, or the uh, oncoming videos of the race truck. Like I said, compounds, gates, lots of horsepower. we got a new goal uh, with power. Obviously, probably more in the 3,000 range. We love you, Greg. We're just messing with you in this video. Um, I'm actually filming with him later this week, and you will be surprised to hear what we're you filming hung, about. You hung the phone up with me earlier this week to pick up Greg's phone call, if you remember right. I did. I also told you it was a customer. When I yeah, that. you did when you hung up. And then you, <laughs> and then, and then you called back. He's like, sorry, it was Greg. And I was like, well, <laughs> well okay. It was business. So he was like, all right, well, this is a customer. Uh, okay. Oh, it's, it's like my instinct of like when I'm on the phone with family or friends. I'm like, ah, oh, there's a customer calling. Boop. Yeah. You're watching this. Yeah. Not you though. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. My God, I'm outing myself on my own channel. Oh, All right, guys. Man. Catch you in the next one. Stay tuned for the race track build. Um, like I said, we have a lot of stuff to do with Motec, SNS, uh, DNJ. This thing is going to be at PRI, getting revealed with all the fab work done. We're going to hopefully do something crazy with the hood. But let us know. Do you want to see it out the fender? Do you want to see the hood stack out the? I mean, obviously out the hood, or I guess the exhaust. Where do you want to see it come out of? Or do you want us to do something different that Cody's really going to hate, and we run it all the way out the back? Oh, that's cake. It's cake? Dude, anything's cake. All right, see y'all. Boat. For, that's for Blake when he doesn't pay his invoice. <laughs> Dude, you know you're either making too much money or spending too much money with Vibrant when they send you bolt cutters.